Myanmar has got a very large Indian origin population. Now, this definitely means there should be a very great amount of cooperation and business trade among the two countries. But right now, it leaves a lot to be desired. And some of the issues that can be identified as number one is of course connectivity. Like we have not, we don't have that uh, road connectivity, and like inter-country visa issues are still pending. So I think these things are something very essential, and I am sure that the government of India is and government of Myanmar are working on it. But okay, uh -huh. I personally see that most important is like Myanmar, India. Myanmar has got a lot of natural resources, especially from agriculture point of view as well as from industrial point of view. And India has got all the technology required. Now, how we exchange the technology and the natural resources? This is something that really needs to be worked on. Uh, okay, okay, Ashok, I want to ask you about what, what about the potential for uh, uh, for cooperation in renewable energy? I know this is something that Prime Minister Modi uh, is going to bring up and is hoping to sign a cooperation deal on with Myanmar during uh, the visit. I mean, uh, Myanmar, uh, there, there's a lot of land available uh, potentially for, uh, could be wind farms, could be uh, solar farms, etc. Is that something that from the business side uh, uh, you, your members are interested in being part of? of Indian businessmen are interested in setting up uh, energy resources in Myanmar. Myanmar has got a lot of vacant land which we can use for solar energy as well lots of uh, hilly areas where the wind power stations can be commercially viable and Myanmar needs a lot of electricity energy as yet. So therefore there is a lot of scope for cooperation and India has got the technology required for it.